For your pinpoint weather and traffic together, meteorologist Michelle Muscatello has the details. It was a little bit uh, gusty out there yesterday, Michelle. Are we going to see the winds calm down today? Uh, they are still going to be breezy, but not as strong as they were yesterday. And that breeze will add to the chill in the air. Let's start it off by taking a look at live city cam. Still awaiting the sunrise this morning. It's been a cold, dry night. Skies have been clear. The winds have been diminishing through the nighttime hours, but they'll pick back up as we get later on into the day. Let's go down to uh, the weather maps here right now. We'll show you uh, the winds that are right now at about uh, 5 to 10 miles an hour across most of of our area a little breezier as you head out towards um Eastern Massachusetts with a 13 mile an hour wind right now in Boston, six miles an hour in Hyannis. And you add that to these temperatures, which right now are at 41 in Smithfield. We did temporarily drop into the upper 30s there, even low 40s in Providence, right now coming in at 45 degrees. And we're at about 42 in Westerly and 50 for your temperature right now in Newport. When you factor in that little bit of wind, it does feel like 36 in Smithfield, 38 in Taunton, and 41 for Providence. So it's all coming again with a dry weather pattern. We've got uh, some of the quietest weather we've had since midsummer that's on the way here started yesterday. It'll go through the holiday week and even into the first half of next week. A future cast then for this morning. It's a chilly start, but notice the temperatures. They do recover fairly quickly. So between 9 and 11, we'll climb out of the 40s and into the 50s. And then this afternoon, we're looking at highs in the lower 60s, which is about 3 to 5 degrees cooler than average. Most areas i um, Newport at about 62. My forecasted high for Hope Valley, 62. The block coming in in the low 60s. Wickford as well. It'll feel slightly cooler with that northwest wind at about 10 to 15 miles an hour. Brisk, dry, cool sunshine. 59 for the forecasted high for Burville, about 61 in Johnston. And the temperatures this afternoon in Plymouth at about 61, 63. Taunton, low 60s. Seekonk in Middletown and Little Compton at about 62. Uh, was driving by the Barrington River yesterday. Still a lot of boats in the water. There was a small craft advisory yesterday that is not in effect for today. While it's breezy, the waves should be one foot or less. High tides at 4.30 this afternoon, low tide 10.45 this morning if you're planning on getting out and doing a little late season boating. This is the first night of the Jack-O-Lantern Spectacular, Roger Williams Park Zoo. It should be a very uh, seasonable night, feeling like Halloween-ish weather with temperatures at 6 o'clock at about 60, 10 o'clock down to 50. And then later tonight, I've got us at 45 by midnight. And here are some of these forecasted late night lows, 35 for tonight in Smithfield. So we may see some patches of frost again in spots. New Bedford, Taunton, our computer model showing temps down to close to the freezing mark. So the frost again tonight isn't going to be widespread, but we could see a little patchy frost in some of the more rural areas. I and mean, check out that stretch of weather here. Just a load of sunshine from today right through Monday. Temperatures this weekend, summer like still, upper 70s to low 80s. We'll only be a couple of degrees shy of a record on Sunday from 84, set back in 1943. Right now I'm forecasting a high of 82, upper 70s still on Columbus Day. Monday, next chance of showers comes late on Wednesday. Tony's back tonight, live at 5. He'll have another update.